Hello everyone. So I welcome you people to the GoPreps Achievers Corner and I'm your mentor at GoPrep. My name is Akanksha Kundevar and I'm taking this opportune time to introduce to you people Ronak Sharma who has made not only us proud but also his parents by securing 98.4% in his class 10th board examination. So Ronak I welcome you and a very big congratulations from my side and the entire GoPrep team. on this huge huge success of yours which so, tell me you belong to bihar right and then you have moved towards kerala so aapki journey ke bare mein mujhe kuch bataiye how do you feel ma'am when i went to kerala i was a bit immature but as i was living there it was a residential school i had to do all my things by myself only i had to like i had pt i had to run for 5 km 6 km every day So as the years passed by, I got measured, and also from from the beginning only I was good in the studies. So I kept my focus always on my studies. But since it was Sunny School, I improved my physique also. Every day I, I had to do PT, I had to run. Then we had races, we had athletics. Then I used to take part in all all that. Then we also had essay writing competition in which I always made a part. I out of three, I got two exciting competitions as first. Wow, that's great! Very nice. Then I also took part in debate sessions. In the actually, I was good in more Hindi debates. So because it's my mother language, so I used to feel more comfortable in that. And yes, I, once I made it to third position in Hindi debate competition in my school. and also i was also good in interacting and also taking seminars in my school like this is to tell from a go and just teach something when just tell a part so i used to go very frankly and i used to deliver my seminar it was a very interesting life i enjoyed a lot but now since i'm preparing for it i have joined akash so now i think i have to quit that school and come to akash Okay, so just like Bihar same, and then you move towards Kerala. So obviously, uh, difference I have got a lot more than you that because like completely North India and then South India, <laughs> right? So there must be a huge difference which you have encountered initially at least. So how many years did you spend in Kerala? It was around five years. I went. I gave examination for some of the full entrance examinations. Then I had uh, medical. I had my interviews. Then I went there. Then I studied from sixth to tenth class. Then I am out now. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. I'm very glad. So, uh, what do your parents do exactly? Like, my uh, father is a businessman and mother is housewife. That's nice. Very. Or, how many siblings are there? My and one more brother. He is preparing for NEET and he is giving NEET this year. And I'm sure he will make it to ends. Oh, that's good. I wish my best wishes are with him for this. So, Bacha, now I want to know how do you feel about this success that you have? Because it's a very big achievement that you have got. It's ninety, you know, ninety-eight point four percent. So, how do you feel about it? Um, it's like I'm getting the results of my hard work. At Sanika School, I had very hectic schedule. Like all the day, we had to do. We used to have bills and PTs then. Uh, camps and in, amid that i used to take out time and study at night i never slept before 1 or 2 o'clock that must be because it. i had a dream of becoming cbc topper like i wanted for 99 but i don't know what happened no no bahut hi acche marks hai bachcha i'm sure your parents must be feeling very proud and entire corporate team is very proud of you so sabse pehle jab result out hua The parents' का reaction क्या था? They were like on their cloud nine. They were very much happy, and they, we bought sweets and distributed to everyone. Then we had pizza party, bogus. <laughs> pizza party, wow, that's great. That's great. Very nice. बिल्कुल बनता है, बनता है. और कुछ gift और मिला उसके अलावा कोई treat pizza party के अलावा और क्या gift दिया? I got a new phone. Oh, so that's nice. Wow, that's good. That's good, dear. So, आप जैसा आपने मुझे पहले बताया कि आपका ये dream था कि आपको CBSE topper बनना ही है, and you've got really well marks. 
सो मतलब ये कब से सोच रहे थे जब से टेंथ में आए हो उससे पहले से ही मैं फ्रॉम नाइन्थ ओनली फ्रॉम नाइन्थ ओनली लाइक आई हैज टू सी इंटरव्यूज ऑफ मेनी अदर टॉपर्स आई हैज टू सी टिप्स हाउ हाउ मस्ट बी प्रेजेंट आवर पेपर सो दैट वी गेट द बेस्ट मार्क्स वी कैन और वी डिजर्व so and then only i also wanted to come on the camera and share my experiences tips and all suggestions i also made my mind and also my father used to motivate myself that uh, you must try to be top or you have not come here to be an average you must be something different from others so i thought this is a good opportunity and i tried myself fully i gave my everything for my body and muscles i left everything i was like full time mujhe to padhna hai bas so your mother was the driving force actually jone kaha ki aap karo bilkul so she was the one who helped you achieve the success right that's great that's great so jaise bahut sare subjects hai class 10 mein hum sab jante hain so kaun kaun subjects the jo aapko bahut zyada pasand the aur kaun kaun se aise the jo subjects the thode se weak the ma'am i had math and science as my strength so maine kya kiya tha at the end of my ninth and there was a summer vacation so in one month time i finished ncert max fully i was like so much interested i had a tuition nearby then i was also using go prep then with the help of all this i was able to finish ncert max in one month so uh, other subjects i was able to give time because when teachers used to teach from ncert max i used to solve rd sum and rd as well so i was somewhat ahead of all in max then i used to save time for other subjects like max now ho gaya now i have some time so that i can manage with other subjects so i used to focus more on social science it was a little tough for me i it was like by hating everything and i made myself that i want 499 so i did not even feel like quitting even a word so i was like by hating everything then keeping a storing all the information in my brain so tell me how did go prep help you in your like achieving the success of yours Since I was in Sydney school, I did not have access to phones. So what I did is, whenever I used to come home, like we had to come home for for in summer vacations we had two months vacation. Then in between we had fifteen fifteen days vacation. So whenever I used to come here, I I used to like fully revise the book paper because my brother also gave examination. So he had an idea that yes, book paper is a good good platform, and he told me about that. and i saw there were good teachers i liked it so i was like revising everything i used to watch videos so that all the concepts get settled in my mind okay that's great that's great that's great so ye to ab success ke bare mein tha ab aap apke future plans kya hai are you preparing for je or neat kya aapke future plans hai actually i am preparing for neat because i want to be a doctor and father and mother both are supporting me and motivating me to be a doctor and also seeing this corona condition it's really it will be a great chance to help people if certain condition comes and i am able to help like over here so this throughout this journey of yours theek hai ghar se bhi door the hostel mein the right so kabhi stress hota tha ki lagta tha ab to padhai nahi hogi itna pressure lag raha hai did you ever feel stressed yes in between i used to feel stress but in between i used to get calls from my father and mother and they used to motivate me and whenever i felt like i am getting a stressed i used to relax there and i used to note down all the points like how much i have studied how much topics i have covered and how much topics are left and and accordingly i made plans and i used to follow that as quickly and at last i was able to like fully cover the syllabus then i revised also many times I read in CRTs around 10 to 12 times fully. That was the road map. I would say keep NCERT is the most important book, right? Yes, ma'am. Very good, very good. Very yeah. good. So it's like uh, from your based upon your experience, I would say, what would you like to suggest to your you know up class 10 year students? I have the new aspirants. उन्हें किस तरह से तैयारी करनी चाहिए? What would you like to suggest to them? Mm. there are always some key points and i would like to suggest all other aspirants who are giving exam this year or in coming years like they must maintain a consistency like it is always says consistency and hard work is the key to success and i also believe that because once you are consistent and 
uh, so you never have backlog and you are always updated so in case in between you, you are busy somewhere or, or you are not able to study for one or two days there will be not much problems and and you will be able to maintain a good work and you will be able to finish all the syllabus at right time right point so that you don't follow stress you don't fall in stress and take other tensions during class for them so i and have also and also uh, there are other points like notes making mm-hmm. uh, while you read while anyone reads you must make notes and notes must be precise and good so that once you look at the notes everything is clear and you don't have to go to the ecrt again and again yes you have to but there are times when we have exams and lots of syllabus is there at last time you can just look at the notes and go uh, and bilkul sahi bilkul sahi notes making consistency or hard work and the never giving up attitude ki hum kar sakte hain and we will be doing it i think wohi zaruri hai sabse zyada and that's what made you secure such great marks so thank you so much ronak it was great talking to you thank you dear thank you so much